In this video guys, look at signs that a full scale reversal is underway. So great if you're trading counter trend and you're thinking, how should I hold this trade for more? Here's some telltale signs that actually you could be on the end of a big winner. Stick around. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me. All right, so we've all been in this situation with your day trading, swing trading. We take a position, we take a short, maybe an early short, a little bit of a feeler position. The market starts to go in our favor, maybe looking for a mean reversion type trade. We're selling at highs, a lower high, double top, that kind of thing. Exhaustion to the upside. Market starts to push lower, and we think, hey, we'll take out a VWAP, a moving average, midpoint, open, whatever it may be. But then we think, okay, what are the signs that this thing might well actually just do a complete reversal and give me a really good profit on my trade? So I'm breaking down some of the things that I think kind of stand out, especially from an intraday perspective, but also from a swing trend perspective, happening on a daily chart, that maybe a clues that, hey, perhaps you shouldn't be so hasty in closing the trade at the VWAP, at the midpoint, on that mean reversion line, maybe, you should look for that extension because of course, all of a sudden, now you've just doubled your reward on the trade. It makes it look fantastic. And the risk reward ratio goes up massively. And if you can get on the end of these as well, they can go even further because very often if you do have that reversal, it catches so many people out and you're well ahead of the game because you're short from you know, highs rather than chasing it to lows. And if it carries on and continues and continues, all of a sudden you've got 10 to one risk reward ratio play. So this is a reversal from up to down, but of course flip on its head if you're looking the other way. So what are the things? So let's say we've gone short up here, whatever the scenario may be, and maybe you know we kind of thought about closing it off um, at a kind of VWAP or something there, volume weight average price around there. But now we have seen things that maybe are changing our mind. So one of the things would be, what well, if we see acceleration to the downside? So compare that to a normal retracement. A normal retracement would kind of chug lower the angle of the retracement wouldn't be so steep. It would kind of be red candle, green candle, red candle, and it would be a stair step down, 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 down. It's just a natural unwinding of price, nothing dramatic. However, if we have a steep decline like this, for example, and we have you know much more aggressive move to the downside, you might start thinking, hey, I can now see that the sellers are a little bit more aggressive than they were before because we have such a steep push lower, we have strong candles to the downside, we'll get to that in a moment. And so, hey, maybe it's not just gonna stop at the VWAP. Now listen, we don't know if it's gonna do a full reversal and kind of fall through the floor here, but we might start to extend our targets a little bit. Same if we see this, so holding at lows. So rather than you know normal kind of stair step down would be more like a, a kind of trend like this, wouldn't it? A trend line, you know, we'd have pushes to the downside, push it back up, push it back to the downside over a period of time. Holding at lows would be more, you know, if we're literally the very, very shallow. So necessarily this, the angle, if you like, but more, okay, not much is pulling back before we're going lower. So it's little mini bear flags almost rather than kind of ranges back, ranges back and stuff like this. So watch out for that kind of thing. Shallow bounces, same type of thing. So if we look at the trend line, the width of the trend line will be much narrower. So it's pushing lower, bouncing a very small amount. Again, signifying potentially that there's a lot more supply overhang than we'd expect. And then larger downside candles and volume. So similar to the acceleration to the downside is we're looking for those big red candles with volume accompanying them, big red candles, volume accompanying them. When we have any green candles back up, the volume's less, the candles are shallower. This could indicate that actually, you know, we could be looking for this. And the beauty of this trade, guys, if we can get on something like this, and if we can preempt this with a preemptive strike and say, okay, maybe we're looking for mean reversion, but now it's turned into something better. The beauty of this trade is the risk is already accepted. We've already got a stop up here or whatever. We've got plenty of cushion. We don't have to worry about taking additional risk. All we're deciding is whether to hold the trade or cut the trade. And if we start to see some of these things, then we're like, okay, maybe we'll hold it. Let's just see how it behaves. All of a sudden it starts accelerating. Well, you are so early to the party that everyone else is now selling. You can sit back comfortably. And listen, I'm not saying you, you relax too much, but you can be more comfortable now and say, hey, well, if this thing decides to break that 
intraday low if it's an intraday chart or monthly low if it's a monthly chart well this thing could really fall through the floor and that bring in more sellers i'm already very comfortable because i've already been shorting up they're looking for a mean reversion play that's actually extended itself into more of a full scale reversal play so it's well worth looking out for guys it's well worth having some metrics that you're looking at if you've taken this kind of trade to say hey maybe this thing's going to really really give me a lot of juice on this accelerating to the downside holding at lows on those downside moves shallow bounces so not much push back up and larger downside candles and volume again a little bit of a clue into the supply demand imbalance that's going on under the bonnet there to say right hmm, maybe just maybe we get a little bit more room on it one final thing before i go if you get that but you get like a strong wick back up above a key level that might be a sign to say hey it's not gonna it's not pushing down it's not pushing lower but if it goes through let's say a vwap or a key level or some structured support and starts holding you know, then again, another something else to look at and go, right, well, it's worth holding this, or it's worth not closing it. Let me just tighten the stop a little bit, trail a stop so I'm not giving everything back. You don't want it to go all the way back on you, but be prepared to give up a chunk of it for the potential that it really gives you a lot more. All right, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, thumbs up, appreciate it, and check out our channel sponsor. It's a link to them in the description below while you're down there. Cheers, bye-bye.